warning tonight about a new way scammers are stealing your personal identity and your money. All they need is your cell phone number. NBC5 responds Wayne Carter's here now. So Wayne, how do they do it? Well, they found a hole in what's supposed to be one of the newest and safest ways to verify your identity. It's called two-step verification. You've probably used this. It's when a company will send you a text message on your cell phone and the text has a code. And then you're supposed to go online, enter in that same code to get into your account. It was designed to make it harder for scammers to get into your information, except now those scammers are just stealing your phone number. The New York Times was the first to report this problem. Scammers going to cell phone stores with a smartphone in hand saying they want new service, but they don't want a new phone number. They give the cell phone company your number. And with a push of a button, those texts asking you to verify your account are going to their phone, not yours. They could be in your bank account in minutes. The process may seem a little complicated, but experts say all it requires is a convincing story, a little bit of acting, and a sympathetic customer service agent. So the problem is, you know, if I was, if I called AT&T and come up with this big story about how my buddy Wayne is in the ICU and um, he's lost his phone, I need to get his phone number ported over to another phone, a new phone, without providing all of that passcode information, then suddenly I've taken your phone number and I can get your bank account, <laughs> I can get your credit card information. Now the trade group that represents wireless companies says hackers and cyber criminals are increasingly mounting ever sophisticated attacks and that the wireless industry is continually advancing new techniques and practices to defeat this illegal behavior. But there is something you can do to help. Call your cell phone provider and ask for a password or PIN number to be put on your account. Inform the company that you don't want your number changed to a new phone unless the person has that special PIN code. It creates just another layer of protection for you. We'll be talking about this issue live, online, on Facebook in just a few minutes. Just search Wayne Carter, NBC5. Meredith Thank and Chris. You, Wayne. All right, let's get over to